Hi, everyone. Hello, Stephanie. Hi, Debbie. Hi, everyone. Hello, Faye. Right, let's get the comments up. Oh, Stephanie's here already. Oh, brilliant. I can see quite a few people are joining us. That's really good. Let's make sure I got the comments up. Yes, I can see you all. Brilliant. Hi, Julie. Hi, Jill. Hi, Steph. All right. So we've got quite a few people joining us. We're streaming to um, Facebook and to our YouTube channel this evening. So it's good to see you um, joining us. Hi, Kim. Thanks for joining us. We can see the comments coming through on the um, Facebook group. Um, so we thought we'd just, um, we, we've got our um, spin the wheel prize draw this evening, haven't we, Deb? So exciting. <laughs> Do we need some music or something for it? I, I love it. Steph um, is looking forward to the game show style, I think. Hi, <laughs> Helen. Thanks for popping and say, saying hi. Yeah, no worries. We can watch watch back the replay anytime. No problem. <laughs> so um, I thought I'd just tell you a little bit about some restocks because people were asking um, about the um, Dina Wakely Media Gloss Sprays that we um, demoed on the live last week and lots of them sold out, but we got them all restocked. So they keep rolling away. So these ones are all back on in stock on the website. We've had restocks of um, lots of the Distress Oxides that were sold out and we've just got these. We, we need to have a play with these, Debbie. These are the Vicky oh. Bootin um, glazes. So we've got Iridescent, Silver and Gold. Oh, and iridescent, I think. I've got the iridescent and it's lovely because it gives a sort of soft sheen, like a film over mixed media. So um, mm -hmm. those January stash bands are finished now. Absolutely. So those are all back in. And then some um, some people have been asking about these little things we put in the packages. So we put little gifts in our um, packages that come out in the with your happy mail, and we've got little bees and, and ladybirds. So um, we've just listed some of these on the um, website, so you can buy these in packs of twenty five. Because there are a few people asking about um, where we could get these, so we've started to list those. Steph, do you have you had a go with using the paste? I've only used the iridescent um one and i love it through stencils or on top of mixed media absolutely love them we've also had restocks of all the vicky bootin stencils so um lots of people saw me using um the fern stencil on the live last week so those have all um come back in stock and are listed on the website the storyteller one's an older one but i just love the um scripts it's lovely. Oh, Steph, you got all of them. I love it. You've got all the colours. Why not? Um, and we've had just a few of the Carabelle um, stencils back in stock. So we've listed those all back in the, the um, crochet and the knitting stencils were really popular, um, as was um, the... Oh, Steph, what was the name of the one that you got The for the love of layers? Now, we can't get hold of those at the minute. They are completely out of stock. But Debbie's been practising her French and emailing Carabelle <laughs> Direct, haven't you, Debbie? I have. I have. <laughs> I I'm not confident be. speaking it, but um, I did all right writing it, apparently. They said it was you, OK. You did. You did a brilliant job. So, um, yeah, lots of those things all back in in restock so i'm going to get, exit back out of here and we've got quite a few people joining us live so we are going to do our draw for the january challenge and the january challenge on the twilight crop and craft facebook group was to design your own pattern papers we had a brilliant live demo from steph from our um, dt and we had loads of entries so we were offering a, a bundle of digital jenny wren cut files to international entrants and a, a twilight crafts um, stash bundle for uk entrants so we had only one international entrant um which is cheryl duday so i i hope i've pronounced your name right cheryl so 
um, we will drop you a message and you can choose um, some Jenny Wren cut files that will be emailed to you. And in true game star fashion, we are going we need to... need a slogan now, Faye. We need something, <laughs> don't we? we? Do. A little snappy slogan. Oh, <laughs> right. So here, here comes the email. So hopefully, you'll be impressed with this. Hi, Jackie. Thanks for joining us. So we're just doing a bit of spin the wheel, Jackie. We did this for our last um, challenge. Here it comes now. I've added names today. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, oh. drum roll, please. Yeah, oh so um, we had all these entries. Um, so to enter the challenge on our Twilight Crop and Craft Facebook group, you upload your photo of your make. Um, it can be any craft project, scrapbook layouts, cards, mixed media, and you upload to our challenge album and then you um are picked at random for a prize to be posted to you so it's all very exciting right are we all ready you see there's quite a few people tuning in i am going to spin the wheel and we will see who comes out here we go oh the suspense drum roll please <laughs> and it's helen Oh, congratulations, Helen. Congratulations, Helen. And I think Helen wants <laughs> to say hello. Um, and so, <coughs> Helen, we will contact you and we will get your um, prize on its way to you. So well done, Helen. Brilliant. OK, we're back. So um, just before we start scrapping, we wanted to let you know about um, the February challenge. So our design team has come up with some lovely ideas and we've taken all those ideas and we've created the next challenge. So the next challenge is um, Valentine themed. And I'm gonna share my screen again because we've got a little image to share. Here we go. So we have um, a kind of tic-tac-toe or three in a row game. Oh, good, Helen, you're still here. Congratulations. We will be sending your crafty prize bundle to you. So, so well done. Um, so three in a row, you can pick three in, a, three in a diagonal, three in a straight line, vertical, horizontal, or a random selection of three. And then we ask you to use these three elements on your project. So it could, could be card making, scrapbook layouts, mixed media, um, whatever you want to do and upload it to the challenge album, which will go live this evening. So we look forward to seeing what you are um, going to make. Right. How do I stop this now? Here we go. We're back. Brill. OK, so let's move all this out the way. So, Deb, you've got a, a cut file there to show us. Oh, Julie, you love a bit of spin the wheel. <laughs> it's like Wheel of Fortune, isn't it? So funny. Do you feel like a game show host? Yeah, I've just made this cut file. Well, this is this is new today. It's not even uploaded yet. So I thought I wanted to try playing with it and back in a few um, files and see just see where I go because I didn't have much time to prep today. So I love um, that. I I like this. Deb, you've been experimenting with stars because you had some last week. You had some new. Yeah some new um yeah i'm getting quite into up. stars and lots of people have asked for backgrounds so i'm th kind of thinking backgrounds and it's kind of on my radar now i suppose because people are enjoying using them love it and so um so we're going to do a, a couple of layouts and um we were just talking before we came on so debbie and i are really excited because tomorrow we're going on a whole weekend uh, craft retreat with crop in the country so we can't wait so um i asked on the group um for some ideas about um prepping for crops and kits so you've got yours i think as well deb and we've, yeah. we've had to go Steph, i know you're the um expert on prepping for a crop mine is here with a little post-it note telling me what challenge it is yeah um, so i've got same little post-it note here ready so there's um 12 challenges isn't isn't there so we yeah. prepped 
and then I've, I've got, got a cut file for mine and um, out an alphabet and stickers because I've got some Vicky booting colors but I thought the color study ones could go with the papers that I've got and um, I've, I've put in some scraps as well because I think sometimes they're nicer embellishments aren't they so I've got a little bit of everything in here yeah I love it um so what Julie there are, there are there's a whole program of classes and then throughout the year there's been a monthly challenge but because Debbie and I have been so disorganized we haven't done any of the challenges so we're going to try and do the 12 challenges during the crop in between the classes so we we were a bit mad <laughs> so we will share lots of photos with you definitely but Steph you are definitely the expert yes Yes, six classes, Kim. Brilliant. I can't wait. Six classes um, each for two hours. So you can see we might not have much time to do scrapping in between. Um, so, yeah, we did a bit of prep, didn't we? So I've got some um, papers and then I just went through my stash. But I quite liked Judy's idea um, from the group. She said she chooses her photo first and then coordinates the papers. Whereas I was kind of trying to do a bit of stash busting. So I picked papers and stash and then I matched the photo. I don't know what which way around you do it, Deb. Well, I did um, because I was thinking of the challenge. I did. I thought of um, what I could do. So really, I was pictures and cut file and then everything else after. Yeah. So I and I started with I started with papers, then I did cut file and, and photos. So yeah, we're gonna have a we thought we'd get ahead of the weekend. Um as Kim says, we're gonna be doing lots of classes. So we thought actually we better get going on some of these um challenges. And if you haven't ever been on a crop in the country retreat, it is amazing. We are very well looked after and um Rachel and the team do the most amazing job. So, and I think um, Julie's looking forward to the April one because we're going to meet Julie in April. So, Steph, you do photos, paper, then embellishments and sketch. Yeah, so you do photos first. I think quite a few people do photos first. I always feel really guilty that I've got so much, like, old stash. And I think, right, I'm going to try and Yeah, I use... need to start with my old stuff. So I, I've got here bits from scraps, like these are coordinating scraps that I found that I've just literally pulled together. And I thought, well, I've got some tags that might work, um, some titles. I have no idea how this might come together. A little um, uh, perspectives, Bramble Fox, a couple of those. And then I've got some little poppies, crafty owl embellishment. So, but my challenge, I didn't know what yours one, one was. Mine was um, to use something that you wouldn't usually use in craft. So I've got a bottle top. Oh, I, ha I haven't done that one yet. So I don't, know, I don't know if I, I might have to plan for that one tomorrow, but I couldn't get my head around that one. Yes, so that's what, and I've got some flair. <laughs> um so we're gonna You've have got a go all the one. things in there haven't you you're all covering the all the eventualities aren't you <laughs> all the things so is anybody else crafting tonight or are you just chilling out we've got quite a few people joining us this evening so hopefully you might be doing something crafty oh look i've got a a giant flare. I think that came in my advent calendar. Love those. Oh yeah, Julie, we can't wait for April. So we've got February, April, June and October. We are spoiled. <coughs> we love it. <coughs> you are suffering, aren't you? I've been better, I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah. yeah I've been better, but it's gonna we're gonna have a lovely time aren't we the weekend we i should relax and yeah only thing is i sound a bit like a bloke at the moment <laughs> you do you keep testing and you're all fine <laughs> yeah absolutely oh. oh brilliant kim you're packed 
good. I started packing my clothes bag, but I couldn't really pack my crop bag because I was using some of the stuff tonight. I haven't even packed clothes. You haven't even got that far yet, Deb. No, not yet. I'd, I'll it, be up in the morning early. I'll do it in the morning. Sling it all in a bag, I reckon. Yeah. So it's like I one of our friends said, as long as you've got clean pants, you're all right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, Julie's done a bit of stitching. Easter quilts, that's good. You're getting organised. So I wanted to see about using some of this gloss. But I might have to set it aside to let it dry. So I've got the turquoise gloss spray. And because I wanted to lay the cut file here, I thought I might do a few drips and splats to be underneath. This paper is... This one, I dug it out of my stash. Oh, P13. Look at that. I did, I couldn't decide which site to use. Oh, Jackie, you've got Emma Dell on in the background. That's what I often do when I'm watching Facebook Lives. I've often got that on on my phone or my tablet, and then I've got the TV on in the background. We do a bit of multitasking, don't we? Oh, absolutely. Oh, Julie, you're going to cows. That's on my list. I would love to do one of cows face-to-face -face workshops. They sound like they're lots of fun too. We'll have to try and get her to Bristol, won't we? Yeah, we would. Cow said she would come down because she used to be from this neck of the woods, didn't she? Yeah. She knows she knows everywhere we talk about, doesn't she? She does. She knows the old haunts. Yeah. Oh, Steph, you're making wedding invites. You are good. Is it a bit of a production line? You get a bit of a production line going. Right, so turquoise on spray. Last week I actually spritched spritzed it, but I think I'm gonna do a bit of this. Ooh. You look like you're busy gluing, Deb. I am busy gluing, but I got my colours wrong. I have, um, I'm going to zoom in a bit so we can see a bit closer because look, I'm making a bit of a mess here. It's gone on, <laughs> it's gone on my keyboard. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> you know, when it comes to mixed media, there's going to be a mess. Thing is, I've packed my messy mat. Oh, have you? you that's yeah. that's why I kind of um didn't get to pack. Right, so I'm going to set that aside. I think that might be quite nice. What view do people find better? Is it better if we zoom out a little bit? It's hard to see how you see it from your probably better like that you can see a bit of a wider view i would say oh steph good got a production line going once you get that design going you you're firing on all cylinders right so i've got probably just going to use one of these photos because it's a double possibly because i want to be able to see the cut file <clears throat> like that on a bit of an angle Back it on some red bow. Oh, Julie, you can't you can't do the, the listening to a live and TV on. I must admit, I end up then not really concentrating on what's on the TV, and so then you have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Hope you don't do that with Snowpiercer Faye. Oh no, it's my absolute all time oh, favourite. If anybody else watching Snowpiercer, there's just a new series that started on um, Netflix. And one of our challenges is to scrap a movie or a TV series. So we've both picked Snowpiercer. Well, it was either that or The Handmaid's Tale. I was thinking I could have done The Handmaid's Tale, but Snowpiercer is. Yeah. See, they're both kind of dystopian 
I do like an old dystopian TV series. Or you were just saying about Bridgerton. Yeah, I've done Bridgerton now. I scrapped Bridgerton. <laughs> oh, okay. I did it with a Netflix um, title with the glasses. Oh, that's, yeah. I've printed off your Netflix title for the, the cut file for this one as well. Right, so... You see, that gloss spray is drying really quickly already. That's only a few fine flicks, but it's drying already. And it's drying oh. on your computer keyboard as well quickly, Faye. Yes, might need a bit of a clean up on that, possibly. <laughs> Whoops. Whoopsie. <coughs> Do you mind <coughs> Now, I don't know whether to put this on a dark background or put it on white and do a bit of mixed media on the back. Decisions, on. decisions. Yeah. Yes, I, I love Handmaid's Tale, Julie. Um, Debbie got me into watching that, and then I had the audio book in my car. Oh, best of, what's it? I listened to the Testaments. That's Testament. the next. Yeah. Yeah. I read the book years and years and years ago. And then um, when I saw that they were making a series, I, I I was so excited for such a long time until it came out. Yeah, it is amazing. And it's been brilliant. I mean, it's followed the book, and I think it's been absolutely amazing. Gripping, really good. Yeah. yeah. Do you think on a dark background? Oh, that really pops. And it ties in with the pattern paper as well. Hmm. I do like it. I might do that. And I need to find, this isn't 12 by 12, so I need to find 12 by 12. I'll be back. Okay. Oh, Kim, you're waiting for it all to be there. Yeah, and then you can do a binge watch because I've just started the, the latest season and I've stopped and started it. And it's the kind of thing that you need to, I think you need to really focus on and get into. And I, I have not. I've uh, turned it on and off. Probably reading you watching Facebook Lives while it's on, which is <laughs> not something you need to do with Handmaid's Tale. Oh, I've watched it about four times now over. I just I just love it. And there's such brilliant quotes in there and the music they've used is stunning. So Absolutely good. stunning. Oh, Kelly's doing the bullet journal. That's good. I've not had to go up bullet. Oh, I always like the look of those, but I don't know if I've got time to do one. I would I I had um a memory planner. I saw Adam was getting into memory planning, and I I love that um, too. But again, I started it, and then I don't get enough time to add to it as I like. So I'm just while my glue's going, while my gloss spray is, oh my gloss spray spray is dry. Dry already. Can you see? It's not so clear on the camera, but it's got a lovely shine to it. Oh, it's beautiful. And it's almost 3D, isn't it? It does have. Yeah. They've got like, and that is dried in just a couple of minutes, but they are like raised, almost like splatty enamel dots. Just gives a bit of detail behind the picture. Because I think for this, I'm not going to back it. I was just going to let some of this come through. But I also thought to tie in with this pastel colour, I've got a shaded lilac oxide. So I might do a little bit of stenciling behind the oxides. And because there were some leaves, I didn't know whether I do. No, I don't think I'm going to do leaves. Needs more of a pattern to it, I think. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Do we go like a few little, I might go a few little mixed media spots. Lightly. This is shade lilac. Oh, 
Oh, hi, Katie. You just joined. What we're we talking about? We're talking about telly. Yeah, thanks, Julie. We're chatting away about things we've watched on TV <laughs> and whether we could watch a Facebook Live and TV in the background, which I do quite often. And I must admit, then I have no idea what's going on on the TV programme. Absolutely. I'm waiting for, um, I don't know if you watched um, Upload. I really enjoyed that on um, Netflix. Um, it's about people who are uploaded digitally when they die. And it, it sounds really grim. But it, it's like a kind of romance, it's like a kind of funny and there's a bit of romance in it. And it's it's clever and it makes you think. I really liked it. I'm waiting for season two. I'm not I'm often that into sci-fi type things. I say it's sci-fi though. Okay. I'd say it's kind of an idea. Um, you don't. I can't really explain it, but it's not. It's not completely sci-fi. It's just um, clever. Okay. Clever. Worth a watch. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah, Julie, I do, I do, when I'm crafting, I quite like, um, like scrappy YouTube videos or something on in the background. That's why we, um, we thought, well, actually, if we put this all on the YouTube channel, then it's easier to kind of watch back and people do like to, to tune in. Right. I'm working on this on a diagonal here. I think this is the kind of background you could probably build up few spots and then oh I've got another of my favorite um oxides peacock feathers because I'm gonna do a slightly different pattern here I think Now, do I go back to my trusty colour wheels? But I think I might... <laughs> I'm using this stencil because I just love it. I only want a few little details to shine through the stars. Oh, go for that one. It's beautiful. I just use it on everything. I just keep going back to it. I hope we can get this back in stock because it's beautiful. I'll just use it in little bits, I think. And these brushes we had in stock, well, they're coming back in stock. We've managed to get oh, some. Good. They, I just they went in a flash. Right. Oh, yeah. And everybody tries them is pleased straight away, aren't they? They get in yeah. results. So easy to use with oxides or. Um, I mean, the oxides are chalkier, aren't they? But they work with all sorts. The oxides are opaque, so you can build up colours on top of them. Yeah, they're sort of chalk, almost chalkier, aren't they? Yeah. Matte, sort of matte. Whereas you've yeah. got the gloss, you've got the gloss spray. I liked Steph's design team layout with this. It was absolutely beautiful. Oh. So this is going to go, which way did I say purple up there? Oh, Aubrey, Aubrey got hold of your brushes, Julie. Oh, looking forward to seeing you too, Katie. You're all packed, you're all packed for tomorrow. We thought this will kickstart the weekend, this this little live. Get us get us focused but we haven't really we, we this is one of the, the katie we were talking about how we make up kits because debbie and i haven't kept up with the challenges so this is one of the kits we made up for the 12 challenges so let's just say we've got a bit to do but then as kim said there are six classes throughout the weekend all a couple of hours each so we may not quite get as much time as we'd like well, we managed 12 last time, didn't we? We did. And I think we were, we, they were joking that we were speedy scrappers because 
Well, you're you are the speedy scrapper. <laughs> really speedy scrapper. Apart from on a Facebook live where I faff a, faff around a lot. Yes, yeah, a bit of a standing joke, isn't it? Where how many come? There's no wine on a Facebook live, though, is there? No, that's the thing. So maybe that's what it is. You tend to get up very early, and then you're in the crop room. Yeah, I think right I was and early. I think I was seven o'clock. Yeah, that is early, isn't it? Well, if you're up, you might as well be busy, aren't you? Absolutely. Get up and get going. Oh, that's good, Katie. You just do your own thing. Do you bring your own stash then, Katie? Oh, Katie, you're gonna, yeah, your brushes are going to do a debut. I'm still looking for, um, so I've got one of these. Um, MK Gun um, did a live with some of these giant brushes. So if you look at the, the comparison of size, like these are the little, and these are so soft, but here's a giant brush. I've only got this one, but I want some larger, like if you're doing bigger blending and surface areas. <coughs> That's the thing. Oh, the Queen's Gambit, Julie, is the one. I watched one episode and again. Oh, I love that. I've I just watched it. That. It wasn't what I expected at all, that sometimes the titles you can sort of judge and think it's going to be something and then it's something totally different I, it wasn't what I expected at all but I'm, and I really enjoyed but it it was good yeah worth a watch yeah. yeah okay that's good oh you tell Aubrey Julie that we send the bugs and the sweets for her I'm that is so lovely those oh. little bugs those little bugs are proving popular. These little, they are, I can't, just can't resist those. I think the bumblebees are my favourite though. The little bees that come in our little pack. Well, we feel like it's happy post, don't we? So absolutely. It's a treat to yourself. So why not? Oh, I'm not entirely sure. I'm even liking that black background. I think that black background is quite harsh for what is a pastely a pastely layout. It's only when you start playing around with things. I don't know what photo I'm going to add on this or title or anything now. We've got all these coordinating oh. stickers here. I had a plan, but the plan doesn't. To come together. I've got this piece as well, which has got some nice. Um, oh, that's nice. Some this nice is nice. nice. Yeah, so I could cut something and then layer here. I told you I'm faffing now. Deb, the black with the cut files, that is good. But I don't know what I'm going to. I don't know where, what photo to put on, and then I'm not unlikely to be able to do a title unless I hand draw one. Oh, I love a hand drawn title. Well, I've done a hand drawn one in the past. I could move it up there and do something. Oh, here. hi, hi, Joe. Hi, Carol. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, Deb. That is a good doodle title. Now that reminds me a little bit diarively, a little bit art journaly. Yeah. I was saying though, we should get our art journals out and perhaps post some pages because there's lots of things on there that we could use on scrapbook pages, aren't there? Yes, we should go to get them out and have a look. Quite a few people who've joined us do art journaling, so it's good to show some different um different things. Do you remember that um, layout we did? And I did um, Andrew in a car, in Sizzix car. Yes, I've got that. <laughs> yes. With different I did. pens. 
Yeah, I love it. I did those as well. I mean, that was so much fun. That was in our doodling phase, wasn't it? Which was, oh, how many years ago? Yeah, 10. It's got to be. 10 maybe. Um, Steph says, what about black and white photo of your grandchild? Stick with the sort of black and white. Yes, theme. actually, I have got an absolutely beautiful one that just came from Snapfish yesterday. I have Perfect. got a very good one. But I was going to use it for um, a knitting thing because... He's wearing something that my mum knitted and he looks really cute in it. Yes. I, could, I have got some very lovely other black and white photos that Elaine took. I could use one of those. That would be good. Yeah, black and white. That's a good shape. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Kelly's exactly how I feel when you get to about that point on your border and then you think oh why have I started this and then I you just quite therapeutic I, I think I... Debbie has much more patience than I do so I find fussy cutting I mean this is about my limit fussy cutting um, we joke oh, about it I'm not it. a fussy cutter I'm, no. not a fussy cutter. I'm a sewer yeah, I don't I'm know if I'm going, but not a fussy cutter no um you get to that point and you think it will look beautiful when it's finished but i wish i hadn't started it oh yeah <laughs> we've right. got a lady who comes to our crop haven't we and she does everything with a scalpel and i yeah. mean that is she enjoys it but i can't think of anything worse than sitting there for hours with a scalpel i'm being honest no it does take some patience oh it does doesn't it there's that lady um, does um, pictures, doesn't she, just with a scalpel? And I always admire them, but I think I could never. Oh, yes. Now, Joe's with us. She would know the same thing. Yeah, Joe, you've panda. bought some of those paper panda, I'm sure. I mean, they're yeah. beautiful, but I would never have um, the patience. No one. Yeah, they are amazing. Yeah, paper panda, that's it. Oh, Kate, Katie, we'd love to see you at some um, crop, more of our crops. It'd be lovely. We've got our next one. Oh, when couple is it? Of time, isn't it? A couple of weeks' time, I think. It's, yeah. the, it's the 19th. It's um, when half term starts. Oh, good. Perfect timing. Yes. I'm not entirely convinced. I keep faffing around with this. What are you not convinced about? Well, there's bits that I want to use and then it's not quite... I don't know. it's not quite colour? No, I like the pastels, but I've got all these little elements and I'm just... I'm faffing, that's all it is. Yeah, Julie, I'm with you. Again, my patience, like, if that craft knife just slips, I'll be so frustrated and I just do not have... <laughs> The for it, but I love watching it, and it, I'm fascinated by how there's a couple of um people. There's a Japanese artist who's done a great big um scene, and it's cut out of this fine tissue paper. How he's got the patience, I will never oh, know. That's amazing. Oh, Joe, your sister's joined our groups. I think I approved a, a few people this evening. That's really good. Oh, that's lovely. Good to have her with us. Mm. Yeah, I've seen people, Steph, hand cut, um, cut files before. That is definitely a labour of love. Oh, we needed yeah. it for a, a challenge. It's bad enough when the machine goes wrong and doesn't cut <laughs> <laughs> frustrating yeah um you see these are lovely coordinating stickers but they are not necessarily oh, some of them kind of would work the best memories <coughs> right i've decided <coughs> i'm going to start sticking down Let's get this all glued in and then I can start to faff. I think I faff with the little bits, that's the thing. I'll, I'll stick the cut file down first. Yeah, Debbie, um, 
Debbie um, is doing okay, Joe. She's got a bit of a, a cough. Luckily, daily testing negative. No, no, Luckily, yeah. No, it's not a bad. But I, when she joined, I said, oh, Debbie, you do sound. I'm sounding sound better now than I did. That's good. Much better than I did. But the children have been lovely in school. They've been, are you okay? Oh. Yeah. Your voice sounds a bit funny. <laughs> yeah you see i find this quite therapeutic just putting the little outline of glue see this is so therapeutic for me i just what, just, just doodling yeah yeah i just love it happily doodling away happily doodling i mean you taught me to do the um lettering on remember we did a live a few weeks ago that was doodling um what were we doodling the I can't letters remember. the lyrics oh yeah yeah for making your own pattern paper yeah blew up that end i think right stick I it do like the look of calligraphy but there's no way you'd end up doing something like that on a scrapbook page I don't think it. I mean, right. you could. I'm sure there aren't people I don't think out there who would. I'm not convinced it would look right. If you had a real flow to your calligraphy, I'm sure you could. No, I don't think so. Yeah, but I'd get right down to the bottom and then I'd make a mistake on the last letter. <laughs> and then you'd be furious. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? Those people used to do it for a job and it used to take them hours and hours and then they'd have those beautiful decorated letters and it's just like, oh, if you make a mistake, you haven't got a rubber off, you know. No. I mean, once you commit. Oh, I know. You commit. That's why I'm committing to sticking this down because I feel like there's too much faffing. Too much nothing going on. I decided to put the photo on a an angle. Less less faffing, more sticking. Mm, balloons. Little bramble fox. I've got wooden elements. I quite like wooden elements. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, do you reckon that is stuff? It's like those words, because our English language is so bizarre, isn't it, with how things are spelt? Maybe it's right that it was just they made mistakes when they were writing it, and so they just had to stay that way. <laughs> I think you could be onto something there. I mean, who decided laugh? A-U-G-H said aff. It's just, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Mm. Definitely tricky. It's still not as hard as Chinese, though, to learn. Can I do as this is a birthday? No, I can't do that because I've got celebrate there. We don't need two titles. Oh, I've got this gold celebrate, you see. I don't need two celebrates. Celebrate, celebrate. Although that's the song. <laughs> the song lyric. We could do some scrapbook karaoke. <laughs> you could do some scrapbook karaoke. Eh? <laughs> no chance. Oh. That would need to be scrapbooking and wine. <laughs> that does make me laugh. Right. I don't think these wooden things work. Yeah. Pastels and wood, it's just not. Unless you ink them, can you ink them with an oxide? Yeah, you could, but they kind of, the wood would still it's show through. I'm not convinced. I put them in just as an option, but definitely not convinced because they're in the bag it doesn't mean they've got to be used no i put them in the kit just in case the same as these memories you could 
No. See how when you do mm. kits for crops, you put things in and then you think, oh, no. Definitely not using that. Um, certain things just don't work and that's okay. Try it and then go, that looks a bit naff. Camera works. Ah, oh, yeah, Joe, we can zoom in here. Let's look, let me come, because it depends what size screen you're looking at. Look, there we go. Is that better? Tell me if that's a better view, because we, we're zooming in and zooming out. And it's hard to know what, I think when, when you've got two people on the screen, you need to be a bit closer. So do tell us, because it depends whether you're watching it on a phone or, or on a laptop. That's probably the light's brighter as well, isn't it? You can see a little bit. Oh, good. That's good. What are they? Homophone stuff. The ones that are yeah. homophone spelt the same, but said. Oh no, that's um. <coughs> Oh, I just think that they have a right old challenge with our English language. There's some, um, you know, I, I, I and I. <laughs> when you're teaching phonics, they're all spelt differently. Pinks, little pink hearts, or should we stick with white maybe? I've got white. White might tie in with the bramble fox. There, you can see a little bit. Definitely better zooming in now. I think the light was hard to see oh good Judy that's better we'll know when we switch screens it's it's hard to see what it's like from your view so you tell us so I think zooming in when you've got two people on the screen is better you can see what we're doing yes yeah, spelling patterns English language Not easy. Okay. This one up here. I think this might have a film on it. I always forget to... Does anybody else forget to peel the film off these little bramble foxes? Yeah. Two, star, two different styles of stars, Joe. That's what I think... Um, works so well this one i've used before but i backed them all whereas today i thought i'll cut it i cut it in a colored card and then i just did some mixed media behind instead of instead of backing it but what i love um with um our design team is how many different ways they are finding to use cut files so we had um beautiful gold foiling this week that was amazing We've got some other lovely ones to come. Oh, it's peeling the bits off. A few little hearts. Stickers, maybe. We've gone quiet because we're concentrating. <laughs> oh yeah, Julie the same. So I, I thought there was only film on the back, but then I realised there's actually a film on the front and back. Wonky titles. I don't think it needs too much more. No. Don't 
Debbie, you look like you're deep in concentration there too. Yeah, I've just found this journal card that I think will work for backing it. Anything is, I don't really want the words, although I can cover that with a stick or something. So what has everybody else got planned for the weekend? We've got the whole whole weekend of crafting from tea time tomorrow right through to Sunday. How heavenly is that? And Julie said, can we post lots of pictures? So we will make sure we share them with you. Our crafty makes as we go. Okay. But anybody else got any nice plans? Stick the heart down again. Yeah. Couple more white hearts. Kind of liking the white heart theme. What's the GD page, um, Steph? Is that for another challenge? And pages for the catch up. There. Have him. I'm going to do a little bit more packing of my tote after i've cleared up the complete mess i've made here that's not like you Faye. <laughs> i do like a tidy craft room ah yes i got it guest design yeah brilliant ah oh, julie you're off to a wedding fair <laughs> looks like you're looking forward to that julie <laughs> Oh. oh yes black and white photo works well deb yeah a little, so. little bit a little bit of doodling loving that as well i've got some little stars as well I've got some big ones i don't know if they'll work no. Mm. no. This is the kind of layout you just keep faffing with, and then you're like, no, no more. I do love these little tiny epoxy hearts. These could be dotted around a few little places because they are perfectly coordinated that one stuck down with glue and it's moving really just here <laughs> oh, it's so true the costs <coughs> you're absolutely right the um the wedding fair industry um, certainly could get carried away. Oh, I ended up doing um, a lot for my daughters. I did the um, oh, it was beautiful and the table settings and um, gorgeous. I did them all for paper flowers. roses. Debbie could do yeah. a tutorial on paper roses. She never wants to make a paper rose ever again. That was beautiful. Okay. It was beautiful. Okay. It's nice though because they all have um, the bridesmaids and Jenny had them in their in their little corsages or flowers. So they've all got a flower that they could keep from oh, the day, beautiful. which is nice. Now I don't know. I think. 
This is too much if they're dotted around some extra stars. Um, do you know, I think the crispness of it, I don't know what other people think who are watching, but I think the crispness of it on the black background probably doesn't need little stars. I'd, no, only maybe, I'd only put a few little stars in a cluster around where your camera is, maybe. I don't know what, yeah. what people think, but it's beautiful. Yeah, actually, you're right, Julie. Elope, do it secretly <laughs> cheaper <laughs> much cheaper now i could put a little bit of lace on this and then that'd be the lace one done ha ha yes ha -ha. oh you see this one has got to be to use something that you wouldn't normally find in crafting so i've got my bottle top somewhere that i'm going to put on it's gold but it's gonna look might look a bit funny and I have got this bit of sticky lace. I could put a bit along there on the photo. A little bit along the bottom. Yeah. Ah, oh, Joe, you're back. Phone ran out of charge. No worries. That's good. Yep, do you reckon? It's not intru too intrusive, is it? No, and can you tuck it under the photo? Yeah, of the I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to go under. That would work. It's not sticky, so I'm going to have to put glue on the back. Definitely think that could work. Um, yeah, I definitely, um, Debbie, the, the, um, Julie, I think you're on the right lines, making lots of things. And, and actually, then it's really personal, isn't it? Right, there we go. Well, I found um, a plate rack that I kind of took apart, and that was the um, the table plan. Um, I used books for the um, table settings. I uh, covered them in paper roses, and um, I did wedding favours on um, dominoes painted black and had a little lolly stick and glued marbles for them to stand up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, there was, there was, oh, and I did a little um, guest book with tags and I did, had a little wooden tree where people could hang their messages on. And yeah, yeah was, I was busy for quite a while, but I did enjoy it. You were. Just wish we had Pinterest, like Pinterest years ago, because I'd have loved all that when I got married. Yeah. Right. And I think not much more but this is going to make you laugh <laughs> i've got to try and put this here oh my gosh joe eleven thousand pounds different just between the saturday and the monday that is phenomenal yeah oh no i should have <laughs> do you think this one might not be a bottle top <laughs> Any ideas of what I can add to this, which is something you wouldn't normally use in crafting? Because I'm not sure this cider lid is doing it. Um, <laughs> something from the kitchen as a stencil for your background? Yeah. I was thinking of string. Oh, bottle upside down. Ah. And then filled with sequins and glossy accents. You make it like a little shimmery embellishment. But it's almost something I should have factored in. I have to say that would really irritate me, the 3D-ness of it. You know that, yeah. don't you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, definitely, Julie. Some of the most beautiful weddings I've been to of like um, village halls and... Um, buffet or, or hog rose, that kind of thing. Love it. Much more laid back affair. Beautiful. However, however you want to do it, but definitely the cost just can run away with you. I could squeeze a flare in. No, that's not going to fit. Hmm. 
That's quite nice, makes the balloon a bit more 3D there. But I don't think it's going to be a bottle top, maybe. We might have to come up with an idea. Or oh, I can see there might be some more ideas. Ah, yeah, okay. Cake cases or candles. Yeah, do you know, I've got some maybe cupcake cases that I could concertina fold backwards and forwards and tuck in to make it like a little fan or something under here. Yeah. Because that's almost like a little pocket. I'll do that. Thank you, Steph. Brilliant idea. Really good idea. Yeah, that's a good point, Julie. How much was it? If she saved £11,000, then the wedding must have been whew, pretty expensive. Um, I quite liked all these little titles, but I don't think I need them. So thankful for these special days. You get to the point where you don't need any more. You're just adding bits because they're bits. No. Oh, hi, Cheryl. Cheryl, you'll have to watch back on Catch Up. There was a very exciting announcement at the start where we drew the winners and you are our international winner. So we're going to email you some Jenny Ring Cup files. We'll be in touch. Yeah, Steph, yeah, absolutely. Watch the replay from the beginning. We did a, we did a bit of a spin the wheel and an announcement. So you can have a little look back. I think, what are you... I think other than Steph's brilliant idea for finding something, so the challenge was something not designed for paper crafting. Oh, thanks for joining us, Kim. Take care. Yeah, this um, scrapbook for a wedding present is lovely. And I've been to weddings where they've had those um what do you call them polaroid cameras and then people pin up all the photos they take oh that's a nice idea so i think i don't need much other than that little pocket there is going to be where i put the something that is not used in crafting for the challenge oh yeah watch back later cheryl well done We've had so many lovely entries. So we did, um, so just before we go and say goodbye, just a little reminder of the February challenge. And I know we've had some people who have just joined us towards the end and you can watch back on replay. But this is our February challenge. And we've got a Twilight Crafty um, stash prize and some um, digital cut files for international entrants. And so um, three in a row, three diagonally, a random three, um, pick any three for um, using on your um, layout or card or art journal page. So we did that at the beginning. And I think that's just about us done. Are you almost finished, Debbie? You look like you've almost put yours together. Yeah, I'm just wondering about finding some baby embellishments instead of this. I know it coordinates, but I'm just wondering about... Yeah, a few little baby to put around yeah. the edge of the photo. Yeah, just here. Um, but I'm not going to stick these down because I might not be happy with that. And I might 3D me a star cut file. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah. Well, um, so thanks for um, joining us, everyone. As usual, we'll photograph our layouts and we'll f put them up on um, our Facebook group. Um, we save all our videos to YouTube so you can subscribe to the YouTube channel. The link's in the video on the Facebook page. But I think that's just about us done because we better go and get ready for our retreat. You better had. I need to Brilliant. pack some things. Get packed, Debbie. Get packed. Get organised. Yeah. Oh, thanks, everyone. Have a nice evening. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.